Hi, I'm attorney Ben Schwartz. Today we're going to answer a viewer question from Jen in Baltimore, Maryland. Jen wrote in, she said, uh, essentially, what's the difference between a wrongful death lawsuit and a wrongful life lawsuit? And I thought, boy, that's a really good question. That's a really good topic to do a video on. So Jen, thank you for writing in and asking that question. Uh, here, here's what a wrongful death case is. If you um, have a family member and your family member was killed as a result of the negligence or the wrongdoing of another person or a corporation, then under the laws of the state where the incident occurred or the laws of the state that apply, you may have a right to bring a lawsuit for the wrongful death, for the death of your family member. And in that lawsuit, you may be able to collect things like the, the cost of the support that that family member would have provided to you if he or she lived and continued working and continued generating income that would have been used to support you and your lifestyle. You may be able to collect um, a benefit for you know, burial expenses for your family member. You may be able to collect an award of compensation for the anguish that you've had to deal with as a result of the loss of your family member due to that defendant's negligence. That's a wrongful death case. Now the law is different from state to state. Every state in the United States is gonna have a somewhat different law and it's a, a matter of state law. A wrongful life lawsuit is also a matter of state law. A wrongful life lawsuit is a case where parents bring a lawsuit, say against a doctor, or a child brings a lawsuit against the doctor, and essentially they're saying that, hey, if you had acted reasonably, if you had not been negligent in the care that you rendered while the mother was pregnant, we would have discovered that the baby had some terrible defect and we would have terminated the pregnancy. And because you didn't catch the birth defect and the baby was carried to term, there's millions of dollars potentially in medical expenses that this child is going to have over the course of her or his lifetime. And we think it's the negligence of the doctor in letting the you know, letting the uh, fetus become an infant, become an individual, become a person that caused all these damages. Now, you may agree or you may disagree with the question of whether people should be able to bring a wrongful life lawsuit. Um, that's something that I think a lot of people are going to not be able to come together on. And the reason I think that is because many state legislatures can't come together to make a determination whether this is the type of lawsuit that should be allowed to exist. In some states you can bring a wrongful life lawsuit, in some states you can't. In some states it's something that is barred, in some states it's something that is allowed. And uh, I think it's a, you know, it's one of these types of cases that I've never handled one and I don't think I ever would but um, it's something that I think is interesting to be aware of if you are a citizen in the United States, you ought to be aware that not only is there such a thing as a wrongful death lawsuit, but in some states there's such a thing as a wrongful life lawsuit. Anyways, Jen in Baltimore, Maryland, I think that's a great question. I hope it answered your question. Um, if you have a question for me, my name is Ben Schwartz. My email address is ben.schwartz at schwartzandschwartz.com. I'm always interested in insightful and interesting questions having to do with the law, personal injury litigation, wrongful death litigation, criminal defense, anything that you think would make for an interesting video that would be informative and educational and maybe a little bit interesting too, um, please send me an email, ben.schwartz at schwartzandschwartz.com. Thanks for watching.